Good morning. It is now Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, headed to the office. Um, uh, I'm looking at the camera now, but I have my eyes on the road. Um, I wanted to uh, to go to the office so I can record my uh, interviews for Vision. Uh, once that is done, I need to take the wagon to to uh, to get detailed. It's too cold for me to pull out my turtle wax and do this stuff on my own. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the professionals uh, take care of it for me. Uh, you know, I, I like to do things myself sometimes, and uh, if it wasn't as cold as it is, I probably would have done it myself. I uh, had a little bit of a problem this morning. Out of nowhere, our ceiling sprung leak, and I was like, what? <laughs> brand new house with a leak? What is this? Apparently, in Texas, sometimes they don't insulate the pipes. So what happened is the, the boiler or the water heater has an exhaust valve that froze because it wasn't insulated inside of the attic and it froze. So all the water that was supposed to be, you know, spit out was frozen and in turn started leaking. So it leaked through the, through the attic, into the studs, into the frames, and down onto the couches. It wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, Judith thought it was one of the dogs you know, having an accident on the on the couch, but it wasn't. It was a leak. We spotted it, and immediately, you know, it happened literally five minutes before I got home from uh, from where I was at. And then the second that I, I walked in, uh, Liv and I ran upstairs and did some investigative work, where we found out ultimately that the leak was because of cold, frozen pipes. Come on, Texas, get it together, man. had a thought the new g-wagon just got released and i still have that car right there i was thinking of maybe trading both the nade wagon that's what i'm calling it today the 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 nade shot wagon and the hex six to get the new g-wagon i don't know how big of a technological difference there is in the system and i don't know how big of a difference it is in the actual motor or the actual vehicle itself uh research still being done <laughs> so we moved from a very, very spacious office, I mean, you know, place at the Scuff House to, to this. This is the, this is the, this is the new Optic Scuff. The, op, the Optic Scuff Office 2018. This is the same, same, wait, where's Mike? Mike's right there. Man, this is it. This is the Scuff House. Who's missing? Who's missing? Big oh, ass Pam. Pam. Where is, is that it? Is Pam in Canada? Is it really? Who knows? We're just missing Pam. We're just missing Pam. He's at the, even the urgent care. I don't know why. Yeah, apparently he's sick. Sick of what? <laughs> he works hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my man's boss is, is, is doing what I do. He, he did me a favor, brought me over here far as hell to drop off my G-Wagon because the Mercedes-Benz of Plano, it is the worst service I've ever been to. And I just bought Judith a car there. And then this guy right here was super like, I want to win your business, man. Uh, this is what we're going to do for the detailing. We're going to get it done super quick. And then uh, he started telling me about the new G-Wagon. And then I thought about it. I'm like, Ooh. I might have to cop the new G-Wagon. Might as well. Might as well. If you explain them the situation, they're going to say So yeah. here's my situation. I just uh, I just bought, obviously, as you guys know, I bought it. I bought the, uh, I bought the, the Nade Wagon off of Nade. Um, and then they announced a new one. So I'm like, man, if I would have just waited... You know, well, at least I got a chance to help, you know, Nate and I mutually benefited from this transaction. You know, he gave me a deal and I didn't get uh, took by the, by the dealers as they would have taken, you know how to get back? Yeah. Uh, how they would have, uh, they would have taken me if I brought it in to trade it in. So I still have the Hex 6. I still have the Jude 4 or the, the X4 that Jude has. And she just got a new car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade all three of these cars in and just get the new one. Hopefully get it for free, you know. And they have that new one, the new, new, new smell. I do like the wrap that Nate has on this one, though, so I might have to wrap it to make it my bro, own. You know what? I, I really want to get a new car. I really want to trade this in. But, bro, I, when I think about it, 
bro, the down payments are the hurt pieces, bro. Yeah. Cause they try to come for come for it all. Bro, you know on the Camaro, I didn't even buy it. I put they somehow swindled me to put twelve five in. And now if I now that I thought about it and know about buying cars, I'm yeah. like, bro, I could have got my I could have would have been leveled up on from here. Yeah. <sighs> Should have asked. This is a better car than Camaro, though, in my opinion. I mean, I like this car. But uh, I like the Camaro, too, but to this get, one's more spacious. I'm, I'm, I'm an SUV guy. I'm trying to get the nice little Mercedes or something. Trying to get the Mercedes, the Merc? Oh, yeah. Trying something to get that like Merc? Hers or Hellcat. I was looking at those. The Hellcats are yeah. dope. And they're fast as hell. Man. Yes, they are. Just don't get a car, man. Just wait a couple more years. Damn, what's that? your girlfriend? No. Went to a part that I haven't been to in the video. I'm going to show you guys the PUBG team. What's up, what's up? What's up? My boys. Up, big dog? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. Yeah. Welcome to the squadron, partner. You, you good? What's up? You guys are in the vlog, just so you guys know. Oh boy. It is too hot here. It 17. Is, warm. Why? Um, no AC. And it's we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Jason, come on. What's up? What's up? What's up, man? My, my man. We're working out. We're gonna get some AC. I think players right? don't play in these conditions. Let's go, boys. Day off. Let's go. So out of nowhere, I don't know if you guys can see. You guys can definitely see that. You see that uh, that line right here? All of that just happened today due to the leak. Due to the leak that ha the leak that happened today. So everything was dripping and falling on this couch right here. So. Jude put a couple of plates down right here as this thing was leaking. So immediately what I did was I counted the paces from that, from these two windows, which are the same windows that I'm gonna show you once I get upstairs. I counted the paces from there to there. And that's when I, uh, that's, that's where I determined where it was. I also measured the middle, right? From, from here. I was like, all right, this way, boom. So that's the middle. Those are the two windows that are right below. Well, not right below, but I counted the paces from there. I gotta put the TV up in my room. So I counted the paces from there, all the way through here, into the attic. <laughs> into the attic. Holy coldness. And then I, I, I realized that it's like right under here. Right under there. So. I look to the right and this is the water heater and that pipe back there was leaking all the way through and I, I obviously replaced it with this but it was leaking all the way through into there as you guys can see it's super wet down there and then uh, I don't know if you guys can see that but those those are icicles the th those things you see right there those are icicles to give you a bit uh, a better closer look those are icicles that's how cold it is um yeah so all that is wet how crazy is this area it's like there's a tentacle monster in here i don't know where, where, where does that, all that go where does that all that go anyway so that is the that was the issue this morning and uh when I ran up here, I fogged up the second I extended that. We're still moving, look at this. We're still moving a whole bunch of stuff around. I still gotta... It's just not as... Uh, as it's just not going as smoothly as I thought it was gonna go. Uh, all day today I recorded with my iPhone and the reason I did that is because I, I ran out of my house and I decided to just like not just use your iPhone. Whatever you have in your hand, your disposal, whatever you have in your hand is what you're using. I was supposed to get a haircut today, didn't, but it doesn't matter because the hair is amazing. Incredible, I like it. Um, so little by little, the office is coming along. Little by little, our entire move is is moving along smoothly. I was uh, streaming and playing some Fortnite with, uh, with Diesel and friends uh, before I got out to start editing this vlog. Um, but yeah, that was my day. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys an, an unboxing, not an unboxing, an unbag, an, a bag dump? Yes, yeah, what's it's called. I'm gonna do a bag dump of, of what it is that I carry when I travel. Uh, I don't know if I'm leaving to Los Angeles tomorrow or Friday, but I gotta make the decision really quickly because we play uh, we play 100 Thieves on Saturday for the LCS, and then on Sunday we play Team Liquid. Uh, so looking super forward to that. But tomorrow, to, as I pack that backpack with all the all the stuff, 
I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it is that I take on my travels and why it's so efficient to take the stuff that I take. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog right here, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If you just enjoyed the video, thank you. I don't know what you just said there. I apologize. Thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna end the vlog right there. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, as usual. And as per usual, at the same a damn skis, time skis. I don't know why I said that. Why did I say that? The same damn.